and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a lightsaber in a pitcher using GIMP 2. So what you're going to do is start up GIMP and select your pitcher. If you don't know what GIMP is, it's a lot like Photoshop, only it's better because it's free, basically. So, um, you've got your pitcher up. What I want you to do is hit Control L. And this will bring up this nifty little layers window, and that will make your life a lot easier. So, what we need for a lightsaber is layers. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to name this lightsaber. Now, what we need is for you to click the foreground color make sure that it's black. To make sure it's black, double click and just choose a black color. Make sure it's black. Foreground color, click OK. This makes your image not viewable because it's like someone is standing right here looking down at your layers like panes of glass. And the first pane of glass is black. But we can see it if we turn it off. So now in this black layer what we're going to do is going to make that a screen layer. That makes all the light from the bottom layer come up and shine through the black layer. So this will make this possible. Now make sure that you have your lightsaber layer selected. You're going to select this path tool and you're going to select where you want your lightsaber to go. Now hit enter. Now to make the lines be all wavy like this. Now what you're going to do is that you are going to color in your little selected area here white. Just color all that in. make sure that's white. So we have that. Alright, now we have that. Okay, what you're going to do is your lightsaber layer, you're going to make a duplicate of that and one more. So you have three lightsaber layers. Okay, on your first lightsaber layer, you're going to go to... Let's just turn that off. You're going to go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we are going to make that a 10. That's your good core of your lightsaber. Right there. Hit OK. And then now go up to the second layer. Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're going to make that a good 20. And we have that there. So now on your last layer, we're going to go back to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur again. Now we're going to make this one a strong 40. Making sure every time you click this button, make them both the same. Click OK. And now we have our three lightsaber blurs. All right, now what you're going to do is you are going to merge these three together. So go to the top layer, lightsaber copy number one, merge down. Lightsaber copy, and merge that down again. Okay, so now we have our solid white lightsaber. And if this happens, don't fret, because all you have to do is make sure this mode is set on screen. we go. Now, a lightsaber wouldn't be a lightsaber without a color. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this lightsaber layer, go to colors, color balance. Now here we have this little nifty balancing system. You can make it different colors by, if I want a greenish color, and if I want a Sith red color, If I want to 
want a Sith red color, or if I want a blue color, then you can mix, mix and match to make it like red. You got. You can just find your color. What we're going to do is, I'm going to make mine red. So now we have our red tinted lightsaber. Click OK. Now, if we go back onto layers, we can see that we have our red tinted lightsaber. What we're going to do now, since we have our lightsaber, and it's the way we want it, we are going to merge the lightsaber color, lightsaber layer, sorry, down with the background. So now it is just one image. See? Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to save. And I'm going to make this my awesome light saber pick. I'd save it as a JPEG. And you're going to want to export. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.